and welcome back to another episode of Hiking the Appalachian Trail. Uh, if you watch previous episodes, you know that I finished the state of Pennsylvania. Today, I'm back in Delaware Water Gap to start the next, se the next section. So for the next few days, I am going to be hiking north and trying to complete the state of New Jersey. So this is going to take me a few days and there will be a few episodes I will try to post every couple of days and keep you updated on how my adventure is going. So it's a beautiful day, cool, but it's going to be dry. So let's get this show on the road. Let's get started. <music> This is this is Sunfish Pond and the trail goes right on the edge on the pond. And the water is extremely high. Beautiful place. A yeah, part of the water is coming over the over the trail.
Hi guys, I am at Raccoon Ridge. Uh, this is also known as uh, Kitatini Mountain. And it's an open area. There is a 360 degree view from here. Unbelievable view. And I am lucky enough that it's on a clear day. So I can see the Pocono Mountain, Mountains, the Delaware River. I mean, it's just an amazing, amazing view. So looks like the fur the perfect spot for a little break. Yes. So, hi guys, it's the end of day one. I am at the Mohican Outdoor Center. It's one of the AMC facilities. And uh, it's a bunkhouse, but uh, has several rooms. And each room has two bunk beds. Uh, right now, it's just me and two other people. So we all have our own private rooms, which is really nice. And it was really nice to get out of the cold wind and take a hot shower. Today was a interesting day. Um, it was uneventful and towards the afternoon. I was actually feeling very, very tired. But um, I later find out that there was an earthquake on the mountain that I was climbing. Uh, I did not feel it. But uh, when I turned on my phone, there were all kinds of messages, people trying to find out if I was okay. So I am okay. I'm alive. Um, an interesting story is that the last time that I climbed this mountain, uh, and it's been a few years back, the, there was a forest fire and the mountain was on fire and we have to do an, an emergency evacuation. Uh, this time, it's an earthquake. So I think after today, I am done with this mountain. But um, it was it was a nice hike, beautiful, beautiful views from the ridge. And uh, now I'm just ready to go to bed. Uh, today's going to be, tomorrow's going to be a, probably a long mileage, but uh, we'll see how it goes. But for now, it's uh, sleep time. So I'll see you tomorrow. One, one thing I forgot to mention is that after I found out about the earthquake, as I was coming down the mountain, there was hail. I got hail for the last three miles of my hike. So I got lots and lots of rocks, beautiful views, an earthquake, and hail today. So I would call that a very eventful hike. I hope tomorrow goes well but I can do with a little bit less excitement. excitement. See you tomorrow. Good morning and welcome to day two. I'm still at the Mohican Outdoor Center. Um, I'm about to start the hike. Uh, last night was very peaceful and I was certainly thankful that I was in a warm uh, bunkhouse. Uh, the plan for today is to hike somewhere between 11 and 15 miles. I'm keeping the schedule open and fluid because I am going to be going through very rocky areas and some very steep areas. So I'm not sure how long that's going to delay me, but um, we'll keep it open, see how it goes and enjoy the day. It's going to be a great day.
Well, I've been walking on the ridge for a little bit now and uh, it's mostly flat. Once I got to the ridge, it was a steep incline getting here and there are very nice views from here. Uh, it is windy, so it's still cold and the trail is very rocky. So these rocks did not stop in Pennsylvania. I think it's gonna be like this most of the day. another beautiful campsite it is snowing you guys it's actually snowing well guys this continues to be a very beautiful hike um, at the top of the ridge I've been walking up here for a couple of miles and it's just started snowing <laughs> it's supposed to be 45 degrees but it is actually snowing so hopefully this will go away short uh, it won't last long but uh, it's a little crazy I arrived at the catfish fire tower it's very windy and it looks like it's gonna rain so I don't think I'm gonna be climbing this but I might take a little break Well, my plan was to uh, take a break at the fire tower and enjoy the, the views, but the wind was relentless. It was very, very cold and windy. So I decided to get down from that area, which is very exposed, and come down uh, to the service road. And uh, so I'm just gonna have my break here. Uh, this area, it's a uh, lower elevation, it's protected and doesn't feel as cold as up there. So I'll take my little break and then continue. So today, this morning's snack is Belvita dark chocolate cream. There's like cookies with chocolate in them. I really like this ones because uh, they pack over 200 calories and they're very light. So I usually have this ones as a second breakfast. So I have a problem sometimes finding protein bars because I don't like very sweet stuff and these ones are not overly sweet so they're they're pretty per they're pretty good Well, the beavers have done a number on this tree. Actually, their presence is very notable. Well, there are definitely beavers around here. There's hardly anything left of this tree.
and there's another. Wow. Well, that's the trail. I'm more than halfway in, and I don't think the video does it justice, but this is very, very steep going down and very rocky. So it's going to be slow going. Well, this looks like a good place to call home for the night, so I'm going to set up everything and relax for the evening. Well, that's a wrap for day two. Total miles for today was 12 miles. Um, I was feeling tired all day. I didn't get a good night's sleep last night, so I decided to cut it short by a couple of miles and just camp for the day and um, just have some time to relax and hopefully get a good night's sleep. So everything is done. My campsite is set. Uh, I had dinner and my bear bag is already hang. So I'm just gonna relax for a few for a little bit and uh, until it's time to go to sleep. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Stay tuned.